What's going on guys? We are at the Dallas Fort Worth airport. Myself and Ed back there. We are picking up Mr. Greco Fabulous. Ed, what do you think about that? That's what I thought. Ed hasn't been saying too much since he's landed. He he had a long flight from Belgium. He's just kind of been kind of, well, flat. Anyway, we're gonna go inside. We're gonna get Greco. And then we're gonna start this retro Palooza weekend. Uh, lots of awesome stuff coming your way, content-wise, guys, so stay tuned for that. So let's go get Greco, and then we'll decide what we're going to do after that, because there's really no plans today. None. Zero. Not another retro channel. All right, we are at Lone Star Antique Mall. Mr. Greco, fabulous, of course, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! So, you have yet to go to this antique mall. It is, uh, it's okay, it's not too bad. There's definitely some Transformers, some Joes, some Star Wars stuff. Um, None of that piques my interest. No, no Transformers? I don't know, what Man. gets more views? Um, clickbait? Clickbait. Clickbait. Let's we're going, we're looking for clickbait. Let's do that. Okay, starting off with a bunch of Pokemon and what are these other cards? Those are Pokemon. All Pokemon. Let's see if there's any bangers in here. Um what do we know if there were? I mean look at the price tag. <laughs> <laughs> Just you know, I'm not gonna buy any of it, but some common cards. Some some hollows. Look at those. We have a bunch of legends over here. Pretty decently priced, too. We got some multiverse action. Blackest Night figures on card. We got a carded Leo for 35. We got some Star Wars, some minis, some mini vinyls, some Thundercats. Um, Go Bots, Transformers. There's some Joes. I'm gonna save him and edit and just film Nark. Yeah. yeah. Inception he's, Baby. He's your voiceover. Inception Baby. And then we got. What is the Skylanders? And. Ooh, there's a Black Star for three. Dude, that's a deal. Look at that. What'd you just look at it? I'm gonna pick that up for sure. Heck yeah. Black Star Demon. That's a deal. We got some Star Wars down here. Some more DC. I found this, the uh, Archie's Thermos, 1969. Looks a little nasty, but they want 19.95 for it. Not terrible. Pretty full. Cool. Oh, hey. Yeah, want some soup? Yum 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 yum. Yum 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 yum. Found this <laughs> shotgun red plush. They're asking ten dollars and fifty cents. It's also signed. Do you remember Shotgun Red? Shotgun Red. Yeah, you remember this guy? He's, I don't think he's big bad geese. You don't think so? No. Eh. no I don't like his mustache. <laughs> well, because he hasn't got any lines in this opening script, Ralph. Uh, Red. What? Red. Does your dog do any tricks? Oh yes. Oh, I can make him sit up and everything, Ralph. You. Here's some of that etched glass. Got Bullwinkle and Shazam. Hey, Bullwinkle. Hey, I'm Dave Coulier. Hey, <laughs> cut it out. All right, we got some games over here. Crisis 3 on the PS3, six bucks. Darksiders, Resident Evil 5. Some decent prices. Some decent prices. What else do we have over here? Eight dollars. What is this? Star Wars. Dude, this is sealed. What? Factory sealed. No, it's not. <laughs> you crazy. Uh, you crazy. crazy. Man, you crazy. I like you, but you crazy. Top Gun. Scorpion King, 
George of the Jungle robots. This is GTA 3 for six. Ooh, Muppets Party Cruise. I'm down for some Muppets. Let's see if this is complete or not. Yeah, looks complete. Then we got Superman Returns. Probably awful, but you know. Superman. Superman. This tub we got a bunch of PS3. Rayman Origins. Dishonored. Mass Effect. Dead Rising, Dead Island, Neural Tournament, God of War, Last of Us. I think this is um, truly sealed, Greco. What is? I found some sealed games. No way. Yeah, dude. Borderlands 2, Scribble Not Sealed. Two copies of Scribble Not Sealed for the PS4. That seems pretty good. Interesting, huh? We got some more games over here. Tons. Men of Valor, Max Payne, Legend of the Guardians. Bunch of Xbox titles over here. Nothing that's just really jumping out. But here you go, guys. This is uh, this is what we're looking at. I'm gonna take a better look here in a second. What is this? Kessen, PS2, lots of PS2, lots of PS3, lots of Xbox, not too shabby. Greco. Yeah? Caught you slipping. <laughs> Laser <laughs> tag yeah. puzzle. Look at that. Dude, it's it's factory sealed too. How oh, cool. That's, my, that's up your alley, man. And you do like laser tag. You do like the I laser tag. I watched the cartoon, man. Yeah. Something you might want to look into. Looks like we got some DS games up here. Barbie. Heck yeah. Princess. What is this? Venus and Ferb. Monsters vs. Aliens. Lock them all. Lock them all. Down here, got some vintage. Uh, here's some more Smurfs, man. Yeah, four spurs for uh, ten dollars. That's um, oh, that's superpowers. Yeah, sixteen bucks. Yeah, <laughs> So I'm looking around at these books, and I spy something: the unauthorized Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles quiz book by Jeff Rogan. For two dollars and fifty cents, this is definitely coming home with me. Gotta have it. I found a bunch of sealed uh, DVDs here. They have He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Best of. I have this, but I don't have it sealed. That's a maybe. Looking through these CDs, there's a uh, Wild Thornberries movie CD sealed. Uh oh, hey. Hey. That's my life. That's right. Got some Bruce Springsteen. Got some T Swift. Shout out to T Swift. Uh, what else have we got in here? Bruce Springsteen Meatloaf. Like a bat out of the hell. Uh, Small Soldier soundtrack. That's kind of cool. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know about. That if it was like one or two bucks, probably, but five dollars, nah. Uh, Spider Man, that's kind of cool. Holographic. Actually, the Spider Man 2 soundtrack was was pretty good. Dashboard, confessional. Train, Hoopa Stank, Jet. It's pretty sweet. Daredevil soundtrack, Superman soundtrack. Ronnie Millsap, Willie Nelson. So I found a box of uh, PS1 games. We got Frogger, Tetris Plus, uh, Missile Command, Scrabble, uh, Namco Museum. Uh, oh, NES. Do you need a Karate Champ? No. 
I've already proven myself. Okay. Okay. Don't test me. Don't test me. War Games, Stuart Little 2. Centipede, uh, Breakout, Asteroids. Kong? Okay. Oh, sweet. So I found this model and toy collectibles magazine for 1990. Batman Buying Guide issue complete list of all new Batman merchandise available for Christmas and you got the Universal Monsters on there too. Um, and then Godzilla and King Kong on the back. This is a uh, definite pickup for myself. Okay, so I'm at this one booth and they got a Stridor. I don't know how much it is, but also see a broken DC superheroes back there for six dollars, but it has foot is towing or leg is totally taking off. Interested to see how much that stride door is though. Also have these little chip and dale figures right here. They're four dollars a piece. It's pretty sweet. Got a bunch of army men right there. And some pez. Okay. They got this Pac-Man fever the vinyl right here. That is pretty cool, 1982. And this is a promotional. That is pretty sick. I wanna check this out. I got a pocket full of quarters and I'm headed to the arcade. We have some random Star Wars figures, some vintage figures up here. $10, $10, $10. So Leia for 25. There's a, there's a Han. Uh, very cool. Not too shabby. Do the Bart man. Look at that CD single. This rat fink sign is amazing. The base isn't for sale, but the sign is. Very cool. One hundred seventy dollars. Here's the uh, Star Wars booth. There's some Helmies, some uh, inbox finish stuff up there. Oh, yeah. Got some Power of the Force, Black Series with some vintage over on this side, over here. That's nice. Yeah. That's pretty good. That is 600 bucks. Ooh, a spicy meatball. Mm -hmm. Got more vintage. Check this out. Supreme R2 right there. Very cool. And we got some more vintage down here. Best spin, control room, Hoth. Some Clone Wars. And a Falcon. Alright, so we got a. TMT mug, the Snoopy, lunchtime with Snoopy. We got some Visionaries, X Men, X Force, X Force, sorry, <laughs> Power Rangers, some Star Wars, uh, some Joes down here, that uh, Dracula Wrath, and then a little bit of that. Hey man, you should probably come see this. This is up here. Oh, Look at that. Whoa. Is that a costume? It's a costume from 84. That's cool. As it is, sounds a little dangerous. Yeah. It's kind of cool though. And then they have... Do they have a mask? Oh, that's cool. Happy. And they got Batman. It's pretty dope. Yeah, it is. But then they came with masks. All right, in this week they got a Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, looks like a stitched lunchbox. But that's pretty stained. It's been a while. As you can see. And we got a tire resort down here. Everything in this booth is 20% uh, off. Dude, you see that N64 bag? That's nice. Yeah. I'm blind today. I caught slipping, homie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already jet set. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just can't wait to get on that flight. <laughs> Not even on the flight yet. <laughs> Turtle Bowl for $26. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
There's a his tank, as is for I, I, I don't know twelve bucks. I don't know if I Maybe. See that. What? I, mean, like, I don't know. Isn't it always as is? I mean, I'm gonna give you more at checkout. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. It's kind of silly. We got some Motu over here. Oh wow, Prince Adam, forty-five bucks. Battle damage, Skelly, 16. Got an Orco for 20. Roboto, I can't see the price. Man at Arms is 12. Uh, Beast, right there. Found this vintage blow mold pumpkin for $2. I'm trying to find out what year. Because it does not say on here, but blow mold is starting to, uh, it's been creeping up in price, so. Keep an eye out on those. All right, guys, what's going on? We are at Texas Thrift. Let me see if I uh, can not fall here. Is but this where I got my Pico this last is time? Where you got the Pico? I'm bringing this home. There's 20 bucks, dude, in it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine games in the system, and it's super clean. So editing, editing, magic. But that's where he got this, and uh, I found a couple of things. I think it was like a Funko TMNT thing. But let's see what they got. We got a couple of uh, We Fit boards down here. A couple of those. I don't know what that is. Ten dollars. The We Fit has the legs, apparently. $10 Wii Fit boards. Is that a still? Ooh, what is that? That's yeah. kind of cool. Pivot. 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 I get that reference. Yeah. I mean, it might be a, a deal on the batteries alone. Yeah. Just pocket things. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Uh, meh. Got a Star Wars uh, puzzle. Or, yeah. Puzzle. Right there. Oh, sorry. Some cars. Fortnite. Nerf can be uh, pretty good, but not for fifteen dollars. This is over here. Not too much. There's a Snickers ball. Why wait? Four dollars. Grego found something. <laughs> I'm really good at this. Bags of stuff over here. It's usually not much, but sometimes you can find something decent in these little mystery bags. Some Hot Wheels. Anything in there? No. Yeah. I just touch. I just touch everything. I don't know what that is. Little ants. Got some McDonald's toys up there. Some dinosaurs. Always look for the Imperials with those. You never know. Panda. I spy something with my eye. Volume 6, TMNT. Cartoon. Let's see if it's, uh, it's in there. Indeed it is. Let's check out. Oh, it's like brand new. How much are DVDs? Three dollars? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so kind of a repeat of two years ago, Reco picked up another freaking travel <laughs> bag because he bought too much stuff here. I, I really need to be an adult and just get a decent yeah, suitcase. A bigger one. Yeah. But uh, we're gonna go to Goodwill now, so let's go check that out. Scores right off the bat. Guitar Hero. World Tour, Guitar Hero, Aerosmith, yes, oh, that is pretty bad, huh? That's pretty bad. That is really bad. What, do, what would you do with that? You gotta resurface or not even worth it? Uh, what do they charge for that here? These are four bucks. And for me, it costs like... Alright, we got some more. We got Wipeout, Rabbits Invasion, Infinity, Connectimals, Hunting. I think it's always good. Just Dance. I don't know. What? 
Let me just check in to see, make sure. Ooh, hunting no bueno. I'm kind of hoping for something better. Yeah, I mean, that would be freaking epic. Rabbit's Invasion. I want to check that one yeah, out. Yeah, check, check it out. Although it's a Kinect game, so I don't I mean, have highest know. hopes. Here's a Kinect Rush hanging out. I don't know if that's anything. Okay, so I found these two copies of uh, Goosebumps. One newer, one older. So I want to pick those up for sure. And I think, what was this? Showdown with Shredder. That is kind of cool. I dig that. Of course, I'm going to get that. You guys already know. So we found two 360s. Oh, what is that? Yeah. Uh, it's the hard drives and the black one. Oh, $50? You gotta be. Wow. That's cool. Oh, it's cool. And this is a GameStop refurbished. <laughs> oh, is that that means? Yeah. Ah, sticker right there. It no work. <laughs> it no work. Found some Leapster stuff. Hey, you ever have any luck with Leapster carts? Uh, not personally. No. It might be worth it. Yeah, who knows? Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Xbox number three Ooh. for seventy-five dollars here. Oh it's ridiculous. I kind of want to play the other one in and see if there's a game in it. Ooh. Yeah. We have the power supply here. Yeah. I mean, it's worth a shot. All right. We're gonna see if there's a game in this bad boy. All right. Moment of truth. Red ring. That's great. Definitely worth fifty dollars. Right. Push it again. Not even ejecting. Take off the faceplate. Pop that off. Let's see if uh, if it won't work like this. There's a thing underneath you can press, and the tray will pop out. Here's a cart full of uh, games. It looks like. Um, there's a Star Wars, like, Play-Doh set? What is this? Domino Rally. Okay, that's cool. Classic Lincoln Logs. Winner. Whoa. What year is that? I don't know. Found some edge glass, but seen better days for sure. Look at that. Yeah, kind of messy. I found this uh, Donovan McNabb jersey. Pretty sweet from uh, the football team. And it still has it, its tags. Reebok. They're asking 10 bucks, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys, so we are back from that amazing antique mall. They had some great stuff. Uh, some of the things were 20% off, so I want to show you guys all of that right now. So starting off, we got the model and toy 1990 collectible magazine. This has mostly what was coming out for the Batman line in 1990. Lots of cool stuff in here. I love these kind of magazines because it's, it's toy history and a book. Next pickup was this Pac-Man Fever vinyl. This was a promotional item. They had $6 on it and I got 10% off. So such a steal very cool memories with this the soundtrack back in the day uh pac-man fever check it out the last two pickups are my favorite so i scored the yellow demon from black star i got this for three dollars usually these range anywhere from 10 to 15 so not a bad pickup black star yellow demon and then last but not least i got the unauthorized teenage mutant ninja turtle quiz book so we're gonna have a little fun with this. I'm gonna ask you guys a question. You answer it down below to test your unauthorized TMNT knowledge. According to Splinter, what is a turtle's worst enemy? Is it A, Shredder? Is it B, Laziness? Or is it C, Anger? Put your answer down below. I would love to hear it. So that's gonna do it for today's videos. Thank you for coming along and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Tons of great content coming your way and you don't want to miss it. So until next time, peace!
Ready to be.